two more variations using the 72 gear and the 176 hoop, um, exploring the theme of incompleteness. We're using penhole 1B for all of these. And this first theme of incompleteness is just going to be the idea that you don't have to take like the repetition of design to its obvious uh, conclusion. So, we're doing... so this is complete one iteration, but there's eight steps we can do total here. Um, and that, that's sort of what I meant by obvious conclusion of sort of maximally finishing the design. But what if we only do it a few times? There we go. I think this looks really striking. You can see there is space for more design, but it's still got like symmetry, it's got rotation, it's got color. You can play with doing it all monochrome or just giving a little pop of color in one shift of it. I think that all looks really neat. This one, uh, I'm gonna do incomplete designs in different way. Let's do the first one fully and then I'll talk about it. So this iteration was complete. It's got 22 points. I'm going to do each next one having four fewer points than the previous one. And the way to make that look good is to take the pen hole back here where it's going to be densest and we're just going to hide it in here. I'm using a different color for each iteration uh, so it'll be easier to see what's going on. But uh, this, this might look more compelling with uh, just one color. One, two, three, four, five, five. There you have it. It's a different way of playing with incomplete designs and you don't always have to start at the same spot and as long as your design has a little bit of density in it somewhere you can hide the start and end points in the middle and make these interesting shapes. Designs and compositions can be incomplete to great effect to add this sense of tension or sense of mystery. Anyway, play with it. There's a lot of variations. Have fun.